Hey guys, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you an update on this beautiful UK Sawtooth 2 Venus flytrap um, that you probably saw me unbox here. Uh, back on April 12th I did an unboxing, unboxing this guy and a few other Venus flytraps, but I really wanted to bring you an update today on this guy, um, kind of put him in the spotlight because this is a beautiful Venus flytrap and it's been growing really, really well. Um, I'm going to get into that. I'm also going to talk a little bit about feeding your Venus flytrap. I've been getting a lot of those questions lately, so I just kind of wanted to highlight that as a question to go along with this video. Um, but before I do that, thank you so much for being here, everybody. I really appreciate you. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, like my video. I plan on opening a carnivorous plant nursery someday, um, selling carnivorous plant related items. Uh, and I'm, I'm just getting started in kind of all that entire process. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. You're the, uh, liking this video, subscribing to my channel. All those things are really, really supportive of me and my dreams. So uh, thank you again for being here. It, it really does mean the world to me. But um, real quick guys before we dive into looking more at this plant let's go ahead and show you exactly what this plant looked like back on April 12th when I unboxed it. back guys so as you can see that this plant has grown a ton this plant has been growing vigorously and it has done really really well um, one of the coolest things about this plant uh, this Venus flytrap here the UK sawtooth 2 it is efficient um, I think every trap right now has a fly I'm gonna try to show you guys every trap here so you see there's a fly there there's a fly there fly there fly there fly there fly there fly fly um, this one's closed. Those are all just opening up again. That one's got a fly in it. You can see it right there. Um, this one doesn't have a fly. That's because it's just opening. So it hasn't even had a chance to have a fly yet. And these ones over here are just opening as well. So they haven't even opened yet. So there's only one trap here that doesn't have a fly in it that's open. And it's this really pretty little red one over here. Um, it, it's one of the older traps. I'm not sure why it hasn't caught one yet. But uh, you can see it's the only trap that really doesn't have a fly in it. So not only is this plant growing vigorously, but man, it, it really, and maybe that's part of the reason it does grow vigorously is because it's catching so many flies uh, and using those flies as fertilizer. Um, I've had this guy out in the sun, it's getting probably 10 to 12 hours of sun a day. Um, usually starts getting sun around 7.30, 8 and is, is in the sun until, um, you know, it kind of depends, but it's usually like four or five o'clock. So it's getting it's getting a lot of sun uh, it's getting a lot of light um, I've been having to keep them watered because we have gotten a little bit of um, heat come through here recently so I've been having to stay on top of watering them but um, yeah check it out guys look I mean it's just it it's just beautiful the shape of these traps um, let's see if I can zoom in here and get some of these sawtooth shape for you let's see look at that those are so cool I just love them look at that Looks like little saw blades coming off there. And I don't know what it is about this plant. Um, my other Venus fly traps, all of them, a lot of times my traps will close and there won't be anything in it just because sometimes I think they're a little slow to close when a, when a fly triggers these traps. Um, but this one seems to be extremely efficient. It's like an apex predator killing machine. And it, the crazy thing too is that these are all flies. There's no spiders, there's no weird insects it's like it really is just literally just catching flies like exactly what it's supposed to be doing so uh, it's a really cool plant um, but I wanted to use this plant as an example because I've had a lot of questions in my comments lately surrounding um, what do I feed my Venus flytrap how do I feed it should I feed it um, and those are all really really good questions I think one of the the major appeals of these plants is that you think you're gonna get one of these and you're just gonna start throwing bugs at it um, and that's that's one of the ways that, that they sell and market these plants right uh, they're bug eating plants and I think that's what people really want to do right one of the first things people do when they get one of these is they find a bug and they throw it in a trap they watch the trap close and it's it's incredible and it's hard to blame them um, even when I bring these home oftentimes my, my kids are always really excited and eager to, to grab a fly or grab a bug or a spider or something and throw it in the traps and watch the trap close it's it's really satisfying it's really cool um, but there's a lot of confusion around that too. Um, a lot of people seem to think that that's how these plants eat, um, and that's what is required, that they can grow them inside. Uh, you know, it can be a desk plant, and they just need to throw out a fly every now and then, and this plant will be happy. 
um, and that just can't be any further from the truth. So um, guys, make sure that you are, the, the main thing that this plant eats is sun, right? The, you have to give this plant full sun. It needs to be grown outside. If you're going to grow it inside, please make sure you're experienced and that you understand what these plants need from a grow light. It has to be a strong grow light. Um, they like a lot of sun, so the, they absorb a ton of light um, from grow lights. And there's a lot of research and there's a lot of practice um, and a lot of experience necessary to really nail grow lights. Um, so if you're going to do it, make sure you're doing a lot of research, a lot of study. Make sure to talk to somebody um, that you know that's done it with success so you can kind of maybe mimic what they're doing. Um, otherwise, I really suggest that you just grow these outside. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, you guys might think that I'm feeding this thing flies. I have not fed this plant one fly. These are all completely naturally fed. If you put your Venus fly trap outside in the sun for 8 to 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, whatever you can muster, this is what's going to happen. They're going to catch flies. You're not going to need to feed your plant. The way you can think of it is your Venus fly trap is going to eat sun. It needs sun. It will survive off just sun. And then the flies that it catches is basically like fertilizer. People always say, well, can you fertilize these plants? Well, yeah, you can. There's, there's certain fertilizers you can give them. Not really, really super necessary, but these flies are the fertilizer. Uh, so that's, that's how you kind of want to think of it. The, the flies aren't completely necessary. You don't have to feed your fly trap flies. Um, although it is kind of fun and it's really, really cool to show friends and family or it's fun to do every now and then. And, and there's absolutely no reason why you can't. Um, I think it's kind of a, a common myth that you don't want to give uh, your Venus fly trap too many flies because it can t it suck the energy out of the plant. It's not good for it. But when I put my fly traps outside and you can see that almost every trap is catching a fly. I mean, it doesn't seem to be hurting the plant at all. So I think it's okay to feed your fly trap flies. Um, but what I recommend is that you feed your fly trap a, a fly that you catch or a bug that you catch every now and then. Um, but really leave it outside and just let it do its own hunting because this is what's going to happen. Uh, they're going to catch a lot of a lot of flies. And you can see this one is just, as I spin here, you can just see that almost every trap has a fly in it. And that's what's going to happen uh, when you leave them outside. So if you're giving these the right care, uh, you're leaving them outside, you're allowing them to kind of do what they do, um, they're going to take care of the flies themselves. You guys don't really need to do that part. Can you feed it a fly every now and then because it's fun and it's cool and it's neat to show your friends or your family or whatever? Absolutely. You know, have some fun with it. Um, try to make sure you can see, you want to keep the flies or the insects that you feed them fairly small. And if you do that, you can see they'll reopen and they'll be ready to, to die in again. They'll be ready to catch another fly. But if you, over, if you feed it something that's too big, the trap can't shut, um, or too slimy like a, a worm or a snail, a lot of times that'll lead to, to rotting out your, your fly trap. Um, and then that'll just turn black and die. Um, but usually if you allow them to have a fly that's smaller, usually more of a dry insect rather than a wet insect, um, that trap will suck all the nutrients out of it um, with the, the enzymes that it, that it puts out. Uh, and then it'll uh, reopen again and, and be ready for business. And usually it, they can do that three to three to five times per fly trap before they will eventually turn black and, and die off as the new growth comes in. But one of the really cool things about this, I'm gonna try to zoom in here is you can just see how vigorous the growth has been on this plant. You can see there's tons of new traps coming up down there. Um, it has definitely, out of the ones that I unboxed from that video, it's been by far my most vigorous grower. Uh, so the other ones are bigger, they have bigger traps, but this one has way, way more and it's just multiplying like crazy. So, but yeah guys, that's that's my UK Sawtooth 2 that I purchased from flytrapstore.com. I can't recommend them enough. They sell the most healthy, beautiful fly traps. Um, this one came ready to go. I didn't have to rescue it. I didn't have to get it back to health. It was just, it was green and it was beautiful and it was ready to start growing right out of the box. So can't recommend them enough. I'll have a link for them in the description. Uh, thanks again guys so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Liking the video helps me out probably more than you even know. So make sure and throw a like down. Um, all that stuff's really appreciated. And uh, yeah, keep a lookout. I'm gonna be showing you updates on my other Venus flytrap plants that I unboxed from flytrap store. So uh, make sure to check those out and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Have a good one guys, bye bye.